Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today we're going to do something. The cake here, you saw by the preview picture and the name already. Old school strawberry cake. Like I said, it's coming up to the holidays. This is a cake I make about three times a year. I don't do it a lot because there's a lot of ingredients in it. And it's, uh, I mean, it ain't time consuming, but it's more time consuming than, you know, uh, a quick cake you put in the... Uh, a uh, 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 sheet pan and bake off. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you the step. It's very simple, but this is a great holiday cake you can use for Thanksgiving, and especially for Christmas for the nice uh, festive colors in it. So, anyway, let's get started. It's the regular. I do the regular uh, cake method, like all. I mean, like pretty much the same uh, cake method. Not really, but it's similar. I'm cream the butter and sugar together. Nice uh, cake to have for the holidays. Okay, like I said, you don't really have to in this cake cream the butter and sugar a lot, like most cakes, for the way this cake is designed. Okay, I got sour cream I'm putting in there. I'm putting some milk in here. I'm gonna put some uh, put my egg whites in here, and I'm using egg whites instead of whole eggs. The reason I'm doing that, I got some lemon zest to bring the uh, bring out the taste of the strawberries. Let me mix this together because I'm not using the egg, whole eggs because I want to preserve the when I add the food coloring, it doesn't have as much yellow in there. You want to? I want this cake. Feeling to be pink, and I'm, of course, you'll see later. I'm gonna want the, uh, the icing to be red. You'll see when this cake is finished how beautiful it is and how festive it looks. Okay, let's scrape this down, and don't uh, don't get upset how it looks right now. All this is gonna come together. All come together. Now, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna put some raspberry, not raspberry, strawberry. Preserves in here, old school strawberry preserves. You can use canned preserves if you want to at the store. It doesn't make a big difference. Strawberry, uh, if you don't have strawberry, you can use uh, vanilla extract. And you can see how they look separated, but don't worry. It's all come together here. Once I add the flour and the strawberry. Add the flour to this. And I got flour in there and my baking powder, my baking soda. Everything I got in the flour. See how all that came together? You see how it was looking all broke up before? It all came together. Mix that up. A little bit more, a little bit more perverse to this. Really want to be strawberry looking. Okay, now this is what you gotta be very careful with. I'm gonna add just a little drop of sorry, food coloring, just a drop. There's a drop of food color, red food color in there. I want it to be pink. 
See how it's turning pink? But I don't want it to be really, really red. Gotta be very careful when you're adding food coloring because you can always add to it, but you can't take away. Okay, let's fold this up again, scrape the bottom, see if I got the pink that I want. I'm gonna add one more drop of food coloring, and that should probably do it. Ah, they taste so good, y'all. Okay, that's what I want. Now, I'm gonna fold in some fresh strawberries. See how easy that is, y'all? I don't understand why people buy cake mixes in the store. I do not understand it. When you can make your own at home and just as much time as going to the store, opening the box and all that, you can be done made a cake mix as well. Okay. Push this back. Pan right here. Got two pans. I'm going to mix it here and make it really good. And I'm going to separate the two pans, mix between the two pans, just like normal. You can measure it if you want to, the, the amount of uh, mix you put in a pan. But I pretty much just eye it. I pretty much made cakes enough. I can try to eye, just look at it and tell when I got enough and when I don't have enough. If one is bigger than the other, I'll put the bigger one on top. That's what I do. Ain't nothing, it's no, it's no law in it, y'all. Oh wow, that tastes so good. You can smell the strawberry. And you can see I got two types of strawberries in this. I got the strawberry preserved, old school strawberry preserves. And I got fresh strawberries in there, so it's gonna definitely taste like strawberries. Okay, now. We're going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, move y'all back a little, 350 degrees, about 30 minutes, and we'll be right back to work on the frosting, we'll be right back. Alright y'all, we back, cake is ready here, we're going to get it out of the oven, there we go, there we go here. Nice and firm. This cake is going to be so moist, y'all. So, so, so moist. That's what we got there. Okay, we're going to let these cakes cool. And while they're cooling, I'm going to come back and we're going to make the frosting for this. So I'll be back in about five minutes or whatever. And we're going to make the frosting. And by the time the frosting is ready, we can ice this cake. Because these cakes got to cool at least an hour. And before we can frost it, we'll make sure, because we're going to make a buttercream, old school buttercream frosting. We're just butter and powdered sugar, so you definitely got to be, cake definitely got to be cool before I can frost it with that. Now you'll have a mess. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, while the cake is cooling, we are going to make the, make the uh, frosting for this. I'm making a traditional butter cream, y'all. You know? All the powdered sugar and butter and milk. Well, I'm going to add a little, of course, I'm going to add a little preserves to the frosting and, and a red food coloring. Okay. This is so simple, y'all. You just add all the powdered sugar to this. For any uh, buttercream you make, it's just a pound of powdered sugar, pound of butter. That's it. And any frosting. 
with it all incorporated up here. I add a little strawberry uh, extract. this down. I might not have had no milk. I don't think I am. Depending on your butter and your fat content in it, your milk content in your butter, you might not have to add no milk. I don't think I'm going to have to add it. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little preserves to this. I want this to be red. I don't want it to be pink. I want it to be really, really red, y'all. We got the pink cake on how the red ice. Now you can make it as light as red as you want, but I want this to be really, really red because my cake is pink. I want the icing to be redder than the cake. You'll see why I'm why I'm saying that after I cut it. bit more here. right back in about 30 minutes and we're going to frost this cake. We'll be right back. Alright y'all, we are back. I am so sorry. I thought the camera was recording. That's why I missed my cameraman. But I'm, I am got the icing here on the cake and uh, let that check the camera so y'all can see the finished product here. I put my icing, took my cake out of the pan, got the icing on here. I'm fixing it up a little now. What I'm gonna do now, if I got the icing on here, I'm gonna decorate it with straw, some sliced, just some sliced strawberries. Get you some sliced strawberries there and just slice them in half. Nothing fancy, you know, just go around the cake just like that. So it's a strawberry cake, so you gotta put some strawberries on there, right? Exactly. Exactly. Put more on there. See if 
I can fit one little small one in there. There we go. Put a couple three in here. Do three like this, y'all. There we go. Now, let's put four here. Let's put one here. I got one more. That's it. Now, I'm going to clean up here a little. And I'm going to come back and we're going to slice this thing up and see how it tastes. So, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, let's cut this thing and see what we got here. Trying to move this strawberry over just a little here. And get that first piece out of there. Let's see here. There we go. So, cut, trying to cut between the strawberries. This cake is very moist and also very delicate. Go. Come on out of there. Come on out of there, y'all. Oh, yeah. It's very delicate, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get this out. Uh, I didn't cut all the way through really good. So, y'all know I'm going to eat this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. See that? Nice. Nice and moist. Man. Man, this is so good, y'all. Man. A little tip also. Make sure after five minutes you take the cake out of the pan after it cool. This, this cake is so moist that it will stick in the pan. Just FYI. But anyway, it's a nice cake to serve for Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays, you know. Awesome cake to serve. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.